All right, what's good everybody? Chris here again, Chris Goes Outdoors, coming at you today. Unfortunately indoors, unable to make it up to the mountains this weekend, but I had a viewer requested video about what I use when filming out in the mountains. So I wanted to tackle that today, show you what I started out with, show you what I've used along the way, show you what I'm currently using. Let's do this thing. All right, so the first setup I was using was with these two characters right over here. So I started filming initially with an iPhone 6 Plus and a selfie stick. Ugh. I picked that selfie stick up on a way up for a trip, paid $5 at a Marshalls for it, and uh, it's, it's hung in there pretty well. It's got a button here to start recording, stop recording, or to take a photo. You plug this into the 3.5 millimeter of your phone, assuming it has one and you can hook your phone in right here. This part here lifts up and it will cinch down on your phone. So this thing works pretty good. I used it fairly substantially for the first couple of videos. Uh, one thing of note, if you keep this plugged in, unfortunately you will not record audio from your phone. Your phone starts to think that that's a microphone or something and no audio will be recorded. At least with the iPhone 6 Plus, your phone may vary, but something worth noting. So I use these two pretty substantially for the first couple of videos until I was on top of the bald faces in New Hampshire. Uh, those videos, once I looked back, it was pretty windy up there and you could hear it in the microphone. Substantial wind noise coming through on the mics and I'm not too keen on that. I think it can really, really ruin a video. So I had owned the GoPro but was not really using it for the vlog style type things. I was using it in a backpack mount just to get another view. I decided to look into buying an external microphone for the GoPro. And where I ended up was on a company called Editige's website, Editige, E-D-U-T-I-G-E. -E. Not affiliated by the way. What I ended up with of theirs was the ETM-001. And you can see here, I have it mounted the way I do normally when I shoot videos. And this is the actual mic over here. And it is very, very tiny. And it gets pretty impressive audio for the size to weight ratio, for real. I hooked this up with a 3.5 millimeter to USB cable that goes in the side of the GoPro. That's a GoPro Hero 4 Silver in a full frame case and I hollow out the sides so I can get my audio cable in there. It's mounted with elastic bands and such, but it works phenomenally. If you've ever recorded on a GoPro in a full frame case, it sounds like this and the audio is terrible. So it's nice to have the external audio on the GoPro and the wind noise reduction with that windscreen on, which is also sold by Editige is phenomenal. The only issue I have with this setup is I have a tendency to break these cables, unfortunately. Sometimes I forget that they're plugged in to the camera still, and if I bump into something, I end up snapping the cable end. I just unplug it after I record every video, plug it back in when I'm ready to record again. And it's worked out pretty well. So yeah, I don't really have any complaint about the GoPro, but I know that there are better options out there. So I wanted to test out the camera you can see to your right. It is a Sony RX100 Mark III. This is a point and shoot style camera, but the camera quality for video and picture is phenomenal. You get incredible video and photo in a pretty small package. You can see it compared next to the GoPro, the size. This camera's picture and video quality, it rivals DSLR cameras. It's very, very impressive. It's not right there with DSLR quality, but it's, it's, it's close. It's impressive to say the least. And the only issue with this, as you can see here, this camera does not have external audio options you can only use the microphone built into it. So this right here is just a little makeshift windscreen I created to put on top of the camera's microphones. And as far as selfie sticks go, I have upgraded a few times from my uh, lovely original one right here. I purchased a few on Amazon that did not work out and needless to say, were returned very quickly. But I saw this idea in a video someone else posted. And this is a Amazon Basics monopod, and I modded it on the end here. This is typically where the foot of the monopod goes, and I ripped the foot off, 
and I was able to put a GoPro adapter piece on there so I can mount GoPro accessories to the end of it. So I can use this side as a hand grip, mount the camera here, and this thing extends out, I think it's somewhere between six and eight feet tall. So you can get some pretty ridiculous angles with that. It's a pound in total, so it is a little on the heavy side. And I was looking in the event, um, you know, in case I ever decide to go crazy, maybe do a little through hike or something. Some other way of bringing my camera with me without the added weight of a monster, monster monopod or selfie stick. And what I found is this solution back here. And this is a trekking pole of mine. So I mount a GoPro bicycle mount to the handle and then a couple other adapters that will let me change the angle of the video. So not only can I change it this way, I can also change it this way. So it works out really well and when I don't use it, I can tuck this whole thing down out of the way. So that way I can keep it on my trekking pole and not have to worry about it. It's down, it's facing away from the elements and it works substantially well. That has been my go-to now for I'd say the last six or so hikes and it's worked out pretty well. So yeah, that's mainly it as far as my outdoor recording gear goes. I do have one of these, which I'm actually recording this video with, and I'll try to pop it in the shot a little. This is a Zoom H1 audio recorder that I have a lavalier style mic plugged into. And once the warm weather comes, I might try to bring that out for better audio too with the Sony camera. Just see how it works for me. Um, one of the big issues up where we are, the White Mountains are the go-to. Uh, in the cold weather, batteries have a tendency to die very quickly. So I've refrained from bringing this up just so I'm not constantly battling batteries dying up there. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was fairly helpful. I actually do get this question fairly often about what gear I use up there. So I'm really hoping that this helps clarify some things. And if it did, that's awesome. If not, and uh, you feel you need to ask some more questions, go for it. I will definitely answer in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate if you like, comment, and uh, maybe consider subscribing to the channel as well. All of those things help my videos appear more relevant to YouTube. So I greatly greatly appreciate it. Helps the channel out substantially. So until next time, I look forward to talking to you, seeing y'all out on the trails. Take care. We'll see you then.